All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akim out there preaching this word in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Shamar coming back with another lesson. And this is kind of like a second installment to the other video I did, like walk ye in the spirit and resist the flesh. Because some, I was thinking about, it, you know, some other precepts that hit my mind that kind of followed up along with what I was speaking on already in the other video prior, you know. So um, the first scripture I want to get is in Philippians 2 and 12. It says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but mu now much more in my absence. Because like I was saying in the other video, you know, the the main the biggest part of the battle is you being on your own. That's that's majority of the battle, I should say. You know, you being by yourself. That's why that's the biggest battle. All right, because you're not always around brothers, like it says right here. You know, wherefore, like have you, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only. So it's easy to be in the spirit when you're around brothers, because obviously, like the scriptures say, where two or three are to gather together in my name there i am in the midst of them so we're going to all, you know it's more easier to be in the spirit when you're around brothers in the spirit as well you know but majority of the time you're going to be on your own because brothers not you know some brothers may live with each other or whatever but majority of the brothers we don't live together you know every brother is like doing their own thing so to speak uh you know outside of when we have camp or we may hang out if we had a free time to but majority of the time it's just you you know, by yourself. All right. That's why it says not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. So you got to do it even much more when you're not around brothers. You know, when you're not on the camera, when you're not making a video, you know, what are you doing? Even, you know, what are you doing outside of those times? You know. All right. It says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you have to work out your own salvation, man, at the end of the day. And like I said, that's the biggest part of the battle because you're on your own majority of the time. That's why it says how you had obeyed in my presence because you it's easy to to do what you need to do when you had a synergy being around, you know, other brothers in the spirit and in, in the same spirit in the same mind. All right. But then when you're on your own, you have to continue to walk in that same spirit. All right. Even much more so because now you don't have so-called eyes on you. You know, ultimately, Yahweh Shai is watching you, right? Yet, you don't have brothers around you that's right there, you know, looking at you to be like, hey, man, what you doing? Like, why are you not doing this? Or you should be doing that. You know, you have to take that uh, accountability and that uh, responsibility and be like that with yourself, you know? That's why the scriptures say to examine yourselves um, matter of fact, I'm gonna get that real quick, you know. Yeah, it's Second Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves, know ye not your own selves, how that Yahweh Shai is in you, except ye be reprobates. So, this is that's why it says you have to obey much more when you're outside of the brother's presence, you know, when you're not around the bros. All right. You got to examine yourself. Well, am, I, am I making, you know, am I on top of my game, so to speak? Am I doing what I need to do in the spirit? Am I walking in the spirit as much as possible? Am I doing things that are going to benefit me in the spirit to help further me along in the faith, further me along in the truth, you know, to continue to build me up and build my relationship closer and stronger with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? All right. You have to examine yourself and stay on top of yourself, making sure you're doing those things. All right. Because it's it's very easy to uh, become to fall into the the uh, the spirit of being idle. You know, now that was the next scripture I wanted to get as well. You know, it says, I'm going to jump straight to the point I want to hit in Sirach 33 and 27. It says. Set him to. um Set him to labor that he be not idle, for idleness teacheth much evil. Because when you're idle, 
you're just wasting your time. And how is that teaching you evil, man? Because then when you're just wasting your time not doing anything, it just leads into you just doing things that's going to pretty much end up destroying you. All right. They're not it's not going to do anything beneficial for you. Just literally sitting around being idle. All right. Not doing anything to uh to stay on top of your uh, of the main task, which is serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and walking in the spirit even much more so when you're on your own time by yourself. We you don't have the scope on you far as, you know, being around brothers. All right. When you have to be responsible for yourself. That's why the scriptures say what it said in Philippians, seeking out your own salvation, because you have to take accountability and responsibility for yourself, man, of your own actions. What are you doing? Because we only going to see so much, you know, we don't see every last little thing as far as the brothers, you know, we don't see every last little thing that the next brother is doing. Now, it may get revealed in the spirit at some point in time, yet we don't we don't know every last little thing that you do. All right. So it's up to you to to set that standard for yourself, to place that discipline upon yourself and to make that responsibility of of staying on task, focusing on your purpose, you know, walking with the purpose, like I was saying in the other video. And what's our purpose, man? Serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and seeking out our own salvation, man, because the next brother can't save you. Like, yeah, we're here to pick up and build up the next brother who's weak in the spirit. Yet, like I said, we're not with you 24-7. So if you're not sitting here trying to keep that same energy going, like here it is, you know, you was down, the brother picked you back up, got you back in the zone, or meeting up with brothers, you might you may have bad, had a bad week or whatever. You come to camp and you go around the bros and everything, and you back charged up. You got to carry that same energy, that same momentum, leading into the rest of your week and in your own time. Until you back around again to, you know, get that, that recharge, so to speak, in the spirit when you're around the body. All right. You can't just be around the uh, the brothers and then you charged up. Then when you back on your own time, you just zap and now you just, you know, you're not you just say, you know, fuck it, so to speak, and just be idle and not even try to fight to be in the spirit, you know. And it's not like it's a hard thing to do. The scriptures speak about the simplicity in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right, you can't say you're too busy. You can't say you don't have time. All right, you can be listening to the audio. You could be reading here and there sporadically throughout the day. You do do lessons whenever you have time here and there. It's always there is always time. You know, there's no excuses. All right, and this um, last scripture I want to get real quick is in Second Peter. 1 and 10. And it says, Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. And that's ultimately what you should be doing, man. Giving diligence, man. How are you, how are you going to be diligent if you're not um, striving to walk in the spirit as much as possible, to be in the spirit as much as possible? Because that's not being diligent. If you're being diligent, you know, you you like you on point as much as you can be like the mistakes that you make doesn't outweigh the how sharp you are, so to speak, man, because nobody's perfect at the end of the day. Right. Yeah. Ultimately, if you striving to hold your, you know, you know, hold yourself accountable, set a standard for yourself. Like, all right, did I do this? Did I do that? All right. Have I done this? Like you have a standard set for yourself. So then you have some type of bar to to aim for and meet. Versus you just winging it and say like, oh, maybe I'll do this later. Oh, I'll get around to it later. And then nev later never comes, you know. So if you setting that da that daily standard or however you want to go about doing it, you know, being disciplined pretty much. Having something that you, a criteria or a goal that you have to hit every day in the spirit. That's going to keep you on point. Keep you focused on tasks, man. All right. Giving your diligence. And if you do these things, you're never going to fall. So you don't have to, like the scriptures say, seek the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai first and everything else will be added into you. So if you're sitting here wondering why you're going through this or you're going through that, whatever the case may be happening to you, examine yourself. Are you really doing what you need to do day in and day out? Regardless if it's a bad day or a good day, 
You know, that doesn't matter. You have a task to do, just like your job. You could be sad, depressed, going through whatever the hell you're going through in your personal life. You think your job give a shit about you? Your boss, your manager? You still got You still have responsibilities and tasks to do. All right. And it's the same thing for your how about shimmy how shy even more so because this is life or death. All right. So if you depressed or you had a long day or a bad day or whatever, all that don't matter, man. You have something that a task at hand to do. All right. That comes first before you, before your feelings, before how you feel, you know. And then if you keep on striving to do that, no matter if you was how you down and out at one point, you gonna feel better. And things going to get better, you know, ultimately. All right. Like the uh, brother in our camp be saying, you know, do for the Lord and the Lord going to do for you. So instead of you sitting there being in your head all like thinking about whatever your present situation is. Hey, man, focus on what you need to do in the spirit and put your present situation on the back burner because your high about you shy and the spirit will take care of those things, man. All right. Have faith in that. Hey, so I'm going to wrap up on that. I just, like I said, I wanted to go into those other precepts that uh, hit my mind to go along with the other video I did as well, as far as walking in the spirit and resisting the flesh, man. Because it's very easy to fall subject to the flesh if you're not conscious of the decisions and the things that you're doing, you know, when you're on your own. All right. And like the scriptures say, it's a balance to everything, of course, right? Yet, you need to make sure that you're holding, holding yourself accountable, you know, as far as like what you're doing day in and day out. Not just while you're on the camera, not just while you at camp around bros. The biggest part of it is you being on your own, all right? Hey, so with that, I'm going to give our praises again to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rukak Wadash, double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. And Shalom to the Akim out there, preaching his word and truth and sincerity. Shalom.